Rockstar Games released the trailer of the upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6 and it broke all the records becoming the most viewed gameplay reveal video and the most liked video in the first 24 hours on YouTube. And this was just a 90 second trailer. Well all this was kind of expected since we all have been waiting for GTA 6 for years. But it wasn't always like this. GTA games never meant to be like the way they are now. The first Grand Theft Auto game was not even 3D to begin with. It was a 2D game with a top down view and it was meant to be a racing game. But a glitch in its NPC AI changed everything. So how a game that looked like this became one of the highest selling game franchises of all time. The year was 1995, a company named DMA Design that would later become Rockstar North, a part of Rockstar Game Studio, was working on a game called Race and Chase, in which the player controls a police officer to pursue criminals. But this concept was short-lived, considering it was too boring and it would be way more fun to play the role of a criminal instead. The game was meant to be a fast-paced racing and crashing game where the goal was to get rid of the cops. This would have been a decent game in which cops chase the player but there was a glitch in the game. A glitch that would change the concept of race and chase to Grand Theft Auto as we know today. In that glitch, the AI controlled cops would ram the player vehicle off the road which caused non-stop crashing. The testers loved it and abandoned the linear missions just to have these police chases. The devs eventually abandoned race and chase and later it was named Grand Theft Auto. Finally, in 1997, the first Grand Theft Auto game was released on MS-DOS and Windows platform. A 2D game with a top-down view had multiple vehicles to drive, radio channels to listen to, weapons to unleash chaos, three iconic cities, San Andreas, Liberty City and Vice City, all based on real cities of the US, San Francisco, New York and Miami. GTA 1 was a huge success. 3 million copies were sold which was a huge number for a video game in the 90s. Later it was released on PlayStation and Game Boy Color. This success was not only because of how good the game was but its popularity escalated due to some controversies, mainly due to its extreme violence. And these controversies were indeed somewhat intentional. Following GTA 1, its successor GTA 2 was released in 1999. It received mixed reviews but overall it was a commercial success. It had a different setting but the gameplay and mechanics were almost the same as GTA 1. After the success of GTA 2, Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto 3 in 2001. This was different from its predecessor. From the 2D top down view of GTA 1 and GTA 2, this new title was in 3D and much more realistic. The third person perspective and a whole 3D open world was everything a GTA fan would have ever wished for. You could drive, listen to the radio, fly, crash, shoot and take the cash, explore, explode and of course get rid of the cops. The 3D world made it feel somewhat realistic. You could do everything in the game that was not possible to do in the real world without facing some serious consequences. It was a way to chill, relax, lay off your frustration on the NPCs and do whatever you want in that world. The game was a hit. It became the best selling game of 2001. Rockstar Games sold over 14.5 million copies of GTA 3 by March 2008. Rockstar Games didn't stop here. In the next year, a new GTA game was released called GTA Vice City. We all have played this game for hundreds of hours. I can still recall a lot of its roads and streets. We are all familiar with its locations, music, weapons, vehicles and stunts. I mean who can forget this club? And the helicopter mission which was next to impossible. And the cheat codes of this game using seaways and jumping the car into the sea while you were being chased by the cops, panzer to spawn dozens of tanks in the middle of the road and fanny magnet to literally become a female NPC magnet. A lot of gamers including me had all these cheat codes written on papers waiting to get home from school and play Vice City. GTA Vice City became the best selling game of 2002. It has sold over 17.5 million copies to date. In 2004, Rockstar Games released another installment in the GTA universe called GTA San Andreas.
it's considered to be one of the best games ever released. GTA San Andreas had a lot of new elements and mechanics that previous GTA games lacked in. The story, graphics, gameplay, music, controls were just amazing. It became the best seller in 2004 and generated $235 million in revenue in the first week of its release. GTA San Andreas has sold over 27.5 million copies worldwide. The next major release was Grand Theft Auto 4 in 2008 and Grand Theft Auto 5 in 2013. GTA 4 had a more realistic approach towards the world than the previous games. The game had a budget of $100 million, making it the most expensive game of its time. At this point, GTA has become one of the most popular game franchises worldwide. Due to this, GTA 4 broke all the industry records and became the fastest selling entertainment product in history at that time, earning $310 million in its first day and $500 million in the first week. Over 25 million copies were sold by 2013 until Grand Theft Auto V was released in September. And this game needs no introduction at this point. GTA V was initially released on PlayStation 3, following Xbox 360, released in November 2014 and on Windows platform in April 2015. Yet again, this Grand Theft Auto game broke all records. GTA V became the fastest selling entertainment product in history, earning $800 million in its first day and a billion dollars in the first three days. And as of now, it has earned $8 billion worldwide. It was praised by every critic and gamer. GTA 5 won several awards and has sold over 190 million copies as of 2023. After a decade of its release, GTA 5 somehow managed to stay relevant without any new successor until now, December 2023, when the trailer of GTA 6 was released. This trailer alone broke records as players were eagerly waiting for something new. The response to this trailer was unmatched. The popularity and success of Grand Theft Auto games wasn't just because the games were great and gamers loved them, it had its fair share of controversies that made this franchise popular. Some of these were intentional, while others were not. To make GTA 1 popular, the publisher Take-Two Interactive hired a publicist named Max Clifford to generate controversies about the game in the local media. GTA 1 was even banned in Brazil due to its violent nature which has always been a reason for controversies. But the relationship between controversies and Grand Theft Auto was just starting out. Following this were some other controversies about GTA 2, GTA 3 and GTA Vice City. Most of these were because of the gameplay and the game setting, the ability to kill NPCs and get their cash, adult and mature content in different forms, gore, illegal activities that were a part of the game and were sometimes required to complete some missions. All this led to the popularity of GTA games while affecting the games a bit as well, where different versions of the games were released in some countries which did not allow some of its questionable content. But nothing comes close to the controversy related to GTA San Andreas. It was so huge that it led Rockstar Games to recall copies of the game. It was a mod called Hot Coffee Mod. In 2005, a 38-year-old modder named Patrick W. built a mod for GTA San Andreas. This mod allowed the player to play a mini-game in GTA San Andreas when CJ goes inside his girlfriend's house for a coffee. This mini-game was actually in the game, but it was disabled to prevent the adults-only rating of the game. The Hot Coffee Mod enabled that mini-game and it led to chaos. We are determined to stop a situation in which video games with pornographic and violent content are being peddled to our children. Today I'm announcing uh, the Family Entertainment Protection Act. This bill will prohibit the sale of violent video games to minors. We need to treat violent video games the way we treat tobacco, alcohol, and pornography. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. July 20, 2005, production of GTA San Andreas was suspended. Many retailers pulled the game off their shelves in compliance with their own store regulations that kept them from selling adult-only games. Rockstar had to release a cold coffee patch and re-release the game where the minigame was removed from the code. This made the company swap the adult-rated copies of the game for the new patched versions. And the worst thing about this controversy was that it was not intentional. These controversies never stopped. In 2014, a 14-year-old murdered his father and brother with a pistol. According to that 14-year-old, he was inspired by Trevor Phillips. 
a character from GTA 5. He thought it was cool. But later it was found out that the 14 year old had a history of mental illness and abuse by his father and all this was planned 7 months prior. This is just one of many controversies that have some connection to Grand Theft Auto games. It may turn false later but the controversies never end. Despite all the ups and downs, GTA kept on growing in popularity. The upcoming GTA 6 is also set to break all records and become a part of this undying universe of GTA games.